Okay, this next dude, I have not seen a video of his for my channel yet. I have seen maybe one bit of his in the past, possibly two. And honestly, the one I saw looks like it came from this same routine. And it's very possible that this might be what I saw. But I honestly cannot remember. I only remember like about one part, one portion of the video that I saw. Um, so if I'm watching this and it starts leading into it, then I will recognize, oh yeah, this is the one, this is definitely the one I saw before. But I'm not certain. However, I still wanted to give you guys that sort of disclaimer that it's very possible I have already seen this thing. Anyway, did I say that's Dane Cook? Did I say that or not? Um, you can see it by the title, but I do like to officially mention their names. Anyway, this is called Vicious Circle Things You Regret Saying. So I'm curious to check it out just because I haven't watched anything of his for my channel yet. I was toying with watching the Jim Brewer bombing in the Sears Tower video, but that thing's almost, this is like 20 minutes long. It's like 19 and something. And I, I'm kind of petering out with the mental energy for today. So I, I went with this. It's short, short-ish, five and a half minutes. And so just go ahead and check it out. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to pause and reconfigure my audio settings. OBS started doing something funky with my earbud microphones. Just the volume was way too high. I don't know how it's going to sound after I process it, but whatever. I, I went to and tinkered with stuff. And so I think maybe it's going to be okay, but I'm not sure. Let's see. All right, here we go. I'm the first to admit, you know, sometimes you say those things and you feel a little bit bad after you walk away and you're like, uh, I shouldn't have lied. No. And then you, then you think, you know what, I'm not going to lie so much anymore. But we've all been in that situation where we say things that we regret. We've all got the regrets. From time to time, something slips out. And you stop and you go, why would my brain even go there? Right. <laughs> why would I even present that as an option? Let me give you an example of this. I was staying with my buddy recently. I was staying with my buddy Matt. Matt invited me over. He's like, dude, you should crash on my futon. We'll have a good time. Be like, old times, man. I was like, Matt! That's what you do. Guys, we just say each other's names. Maddie! Okay. Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> and we called each other. We were setting it up. I was going to stay there. And you know what I love about when guys call each other and we get each other's voicemail? Just how degrading we are to one another. Where the fuck are you, douchebag? Pick up your fucking phone, you homo. <laughs> Why don't you pick up? You're a douchebag, dude. And then you call back and you get his shit. Oh, 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 who the fuck's not picking up now? Right, right. I'm a douchebag. You... You're a douche box. Oh, my God. I've upgraded your douche container, and you're a douche box. Uh, okay. They call you. Yeah, you're a douche trough. You're a trough of douche. Okay. Just keep going back and forth. Oh, yeah, you're a douche silo, sucker. And he calls me. You're, you're a fucking douche space shuttle. I knew he was going to go there. <laughs> that doesn't even count, dude. I'm talking about containers. <laughs> I am not a douche space shuttle. The, the reason why I thought he was going to say something about like a, a space rocket or a space something is because um, uh, something about uh, nuclear like uh, weapons or warheads being stored in silos. Maybe wasn't there a scene in Terminator 3 where it showed uh, showed them when when the rockets went off, when the missiles went off, that they were coming out of silos so when he said silo, I was like, okay, he's going to say something about like a missile or some something related to space. I, that's just where my brain went. That might not have had anything. I mean, I don't know, but I sort of kind of predicted what he was going to say. So I stay over, listen to this. I stay with Matt. Okay. It's not sounding familiar and, so um, far. There, reading a magazine. Matt comes in from work. He comes in, he goes right to the refrigerator, okay? Barely even says hello to me, okay? He just looks at me, he goes, uh, and he goes right to the fridge. And he whips that freezer door open, and he starts peering inside, right? He just keeps looking at every mm. shelf, looking up and down. And I'm trying to talk to him. I'm like, 
hey, uh, do you want to maybe uh, catch the batting cages later? You want to do any? He, he's not even listening. He's like, uh, 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 uh. What's he looking for? He finally turns to me. An aggressive like he goes, um. Did you eat my? Listen, <laughs> I'm glad you're staying here, bro. Where the fuck's my ice cream? Uh, mm, 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 mm. And I, I, I said, hey, excuse me? He goes, I had, <laughs> I had ice cream in the freezer. I had ice cream, man. And I looked and I said, uh, I said, uh, lucky you. <laughs> who, who the hell on this earth comes home saying, I hope there's no ice cream in my freezer. I mean, Jesus, it's a, it's a creamy delight. <laughs> he looks back and he goes, whatever, dude. Now he starts moving shit around. He's moving stuff back and forth. He even pulls out that basket that you never even use. That's got popsicles from 85 in there. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that stay in the bottom of the freezer yeah. with all, all the different colors. And you're like, I got to clean that shit. But you don't. Yeah. yeah. Pain in the butt. He looks back. Dude, there was ice cream in here. Okay. There was ice cream. And now that ice cream is not there. And it's you and me. And you know what? I was thinking of that ice cream all day. And I looked at him and I said, well, uh, that's pathetic. <laughs> That's what you think about all day. It's ice cream. You think of delicious treats while you're at work. Maybe you should think about getting your fucking finances in order so you can move out of this dump. Okay. Instead of thinking about rum raisin, you jerk. No, dude. No, no, no. Don't try to distract. You ate my ice cream. Now I'm completely cornered. I'm on the defense. Okay. I get up in his face. I go, hey, I didn't eat your fucking ice cream. But I could see he still didn't believe me. So I took it to that point where I'm saying things I shouldn't say. Regret point. Uh -huh. I go, Matt, I swear on my unborn child's life. Oh, gosh. I didn't eat your ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I used high voice. His voice. <laughs> you don't want to have to use high voice. I didn't eat it. <laughs> but I swore on my unborn child. Oh, no. I included my unborn child with this little ice cream debacle. Is he had a kid? Why would I say that? Why would I include? It made me feel bad. I started regretting that I'd said it. And I'll tell you why. Because I started thinking about it. What if years down the road, me and my beautiful wife, what if she's in giving birth to our... <laughs> That's how she's going to give birth. She's going to palm it and just... Palm it. Ah. Okay. Right in the middle of the mall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to do it like this because I don't... Okay. I don't have time to pantomime an entire baby birth here, so I'm just gonna, let's, let's just pretend this is how we do it. Hmm. And I think about it, what if during the birth, what if something happens? And what if due to childbirth complications, my child does not make it? Oh no. The first thing that I'm- No, I thought he was gonna say something like, what if, you know, years down the road, my child grows up and steals my ice cream or something. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he was going to go dark like that. Childbirth complications. My child does not make it. The first thing that I'm going to think to myself is... Because he lied. Fuck, now Matt thinks I ate his ice cream. Oh. <laughs> so he really didn't eat the ice cream. <laughs> I'll be back. I got to call Matt. Dude, I did not... This was a fluke. This was a fluke. I swear on my next... Unborn, Unborn child's, child's life. life. <laughs> Don't uh, do that. <laughs> okay. It's about ready to stop. I did take it out of the playlist, but I don't trust YouTube. They don't listen to me when I say no autoplay. Um, okay. Well, this was, you know, this was, had some funny moments. Most of the funny moments are, to me, most of his funny because i'm i'm drawing on what i remember from what i saw before um and that has something to do with uh when he he was maybe standing in a line somewhere and he said something like somebody sneezed and he said god bless you or bless you or something like that and the guy took offense because he's an atheist and so they, they get in this little uh argument with each other and he said something about um, how did he turn that around? Oh, how the guy said something about how when he died, he's just going to go back down to the earth and he's going to feed the trees and whatever. And, and he said something about how that, yeah. And when that tree goes big, I'm going to 
I'm going to cut it down and, and take it to the mill and, and have a Bible printed or some, something like that. That's the only, I, I'm pretty sure that is the only other thing of his that I have seen. And it, that one, you know, is funny too. And this is funny as well. Uh, for, for me, a lot of his humor is in his uh, physical presentation his facial expressions, which that that tickles me a lot anyway, with a lot of the comedians, the 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 way they look, um, and and with him, it's obviously that too. The way he inflects his voice, like a lot of comedians, his body language as he's acting it out, like that part about him <laughs> acting like his, his his wife giving birth, that was kind of funny to me. But as a whole, he, I mean, maybe there's better material out there than this particular video that I saw. Um, I, I don't know that he does a whole lot of stand-up anymore. I mean, I he might, for all I know, honestly. I, I'm not super up on what's going on with Dane Cook these days. Don't really hear a whole lot about him lately, but that doesn't mean he's not out and about doing a whole bunch of stuff because so many people around, you don't always know what they're doing, you know, unless they're just constantly in the spotlight, which he's not that I can tell. Anyway, it, this was funny. It's not really sparking a, a huge amount of, of commentary in my brain, but I do know kind of where he's coming from when he talks about, you know, like worrying about karma and that sort of thing, you know, like he swore on his unborn child. Now, what if something terrible happens to the unborn child? My mind does that sort of thing, too. Like if something happens, uh, I start to think about the possibility of something uh, like like something down the road that's going to make me regret whatever it was that was occurring in that moment. Or, y you know, like I guess it's kind of like a karma type thing. I can be really kind of superstitious about stuff like that sometimes. It's it's ridiculous. I feel like it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, but at the same time, it does make you wonder a little bit about things like that. You know, things coming around to bite you in the butt. Maybe not necessarily because you've done or said something bad, but just the situation, how it ends up, you know, how things end up going later. You know, I don't know if I'm explaining myself uh, correctly, but that vicious circle, I, I think, I, I think I know, you know, where he's coming from with that. But other than that, I, I don't really have much, much else to, to add to this. It was kind of a pretty short video for me, you guys. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I don't know if I'm going to check out anything else. I don't know. Maybe not. I got a movie I need to uh, finish rewatching because I'm doing a live stream tomorrow as of the recording of this. Now this is going to go up after the live stream happens, but I'm doing a live stream tomorrow uh, where a, a friend of mine and I are going to have a discussion about Wonder Woman 1984 and how it's not as bad as a lot of people think or say it is, or, you know, I mean, obviously the stuff is subjective, but we both really like the film. And so we're going to talk about the good parts of it and what, what makes it really a pretty damn good movie to both of us. So We'll see how that goes. But I, I wanted to, I've, I've seen the movie twice already in theaters and then I wanted to rewatch it so I could refresh my memory about some of the things in there and take some notes. So I don't want to take more time right now filming. I'm going to call it quits for tonight. A little early, only one video I've done, but oh well. See you later, guys. <laughs>